Lawmakers put their stamp of approval on two bills designed to meet the governor's call for the extra legislative session. Senate Bills 3 and 5 lower the state's top income tax rate from 5.3% to 4.95% beginning in January of 2023. The legislation also includes several general revenue growth triggers designed to potentially lower the income tax rate to as low as 4.5%. The sponsor of the legislation believes the growth triggers implemented by the bill allow the state to continue to cut the income tax rate in a responsible manner. The guardrails, the economic growth that has been built into this that has to occur to allow these further reductions to take place, I believe is the insulation that gives us the ability to continue funding things where we need to. On the other side of the aisle, several senators raised concerns regarding the extra session tax bill and fear it could affect funding for education and other services. This is just another example of wandering an opportunity with this money and then someday in the future, someday in the future, we're going to hit bad economic times and school districts are going to come or hospitals are going to come, social service agencies are going to come and say, we can't provide the services. And someone in the appropriation chair will say, we just don't have the money. We have to balance the budget. And they'll be right because five years ago, we set a permanent tax cut. The other legislation passed during the extra session, House Bill 3, includes a variety of measures designed to expand economic opportunities for Missouri's farmers and ranchers. A key part of this legislation extends the length of several of the state's agricultural tax credit programs for six years. During the legislative session, similar legislation was passed by the General Assembly that extended these credits for two years, but it was vetoed by the governor. This bill helps uh, farmers and ranchers in the state uh, in many ways, from helping beginning farmers to adding value to your crops. Uh, farmers and ranchers in Missouri help produce the world's safest and most abundant food supply. The governor signed both of these measures into law on October 5th. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm John Pattison.